amount of people and even though it can't be cured it's a condition that can be managed here today to talk about this disease and how to treat it is george abdul malik a physical therapist and lymphedema therapist at hartford healthcare welcome hi thanks for having me here thank you great to have you so talk about lymphedema what is this condition so um Lymphedema is one of the oldest health problems diagnosed by humans, even since from Ferris, they drew um, uh, patients with lymphedema and was a queen from Pont, uh, till the Greek who termed the, the, the lymph, which means a clear water, they referred the lymphatic system as the water that ends in a circulation in the, uh, in the sea, which is uh, cardiac circulation. Under normal condition, there are fluids accumulated in a small amount under between the, uh, the cell spaces with a large protein, fats, and other waste product. The duty of the lymphatic system is to remove and to drain those fluids and return them back to the circulation. Lymphedema occurs like when we have um, a chronic decrease in the capacity or the ability of the lymphatic system to drain back those fluids, like when we have a breast cancer, for example, and we remove some lymph nodes. Or when we have like a chronic uh, increase in those amount of fluids, like in cardiac edema, and sometimes we have both decrease in the capacity of the lymphatic system and a chronic increase in the lymphatic uh, load. This accumulation triggers uh, a complex inflammatory action that can cause fibrosis, chronic wounds, cellulitis, okay. and other health morbidities. All right, tell us who is affected by this condition. Oh, that's a, that's a very wide range. We can have infants who can be born with a lymphedema, and it's called uh, primary lymphedema, where it's uh, genetic abnormalities. We can have adults who acquired um, uh, 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 an injury in the lymphatic system, and it's called um, secondary lymphedema, like in cancer or major accident. Um, and there are mer other causes like morbid obesity, chronic venous insufficiency, and immobility. And, or we can have like a combination which is called uh, multi-causal lymphedema. Okay, how do you treat lymphedema and how are the outcomes? So, uh, completely congestive therapy or CDT is a gold standard uh, for the lymphedema treatment. Uh, it's composed of manual lymph drainage, uh, skin care, um, compression therapy with a multi-layer short stretch bandage, and exercise to engage uh, the muscles. It's offered in two phases. Uh, the intensive phase of treatment that it's like a visit of five times per week for two to four weeks according to the stage. Uh, after that, uh, we after we get the proper size of the lump, we we enter the second phase, which is called the conservative phase of treatment, which is a lifetime condition because, as you know, lymphedema is a chronic uh, condition where a patient can have a specific dosage of compression and socks. Uh, the outcomes, it really differs uh, according to the uh, clinical stage and the size of the edema. For example, if you have a patient in the first stages, like stage one, when we have a minor lymphedema or it's in the beginning, we can expect complete uh, resolution uh, of the edema. We are, However, if we are we out of time. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but George, oh, no, it's okay. thank you so much for all this information. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.